Sois. I'm Carol from the Aaron Public Library. And today, before we begin our sewing session, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about your sewing machine. Sewing machine models are different, so it's a good idea to look up how to use your sewing machine, either in your manual or Googling it. And what you would Google is the name of the sewing machine, which in my case it's a Viking, and then the model number, which is 5710. So I would look up Viking 5710, and I would come up with a wealth of information on how to thread my sewing machine and bobbin, how to backstitch by pressing a button on my case, and how to turn your machine on and off. And you would also learn other necessary things about your sewing machine. I just want to remind you about safety first. Since we are going to be using a hot iron, a sewing machine, scissors, and pins. Uh, young children do need to be supervised. Other things that we will need is to turn the fabric, a chopstick or unsharpened pencil, a sharpened pencil to mark the fabric, yardstick and ruler, of course your fabric and thread. And now we're ready to begin our project for today, which is a headband. Now you're ready for step one, which is cutting the material out for your headband. There are two variations to choose from. One headband that is going to be the same on both sides, and the other headband is going to be different on each side. This headband, you would cut one piece four inches. On this headband, you would cut two pieces, but each of them two inches wide. And the easiest way I find to cut this is to take your ruler and measure two inches down and make a little mark. Go along another and make it a little mark and you do this all the way across your fabric. Then take your yard stick and it's just like connecting dots. You take that and you mark that line and that line is your cutting line. Now you would do the same thing as if you wanted four inches wide. You just measure four inches all the way along and cut that out. Now the length of each one for an adult would be 30 inches. Now if you want to make it for a child, I would measure from the front of the head to the back of the head. And that one, for example, is 21 inches but you still need to tie it. So I would add five or six inches. So that would be either cutting it out 26 or 27 inches. Now we're ready for step two, and that is to make the ends. The curved end works best on the two-sided fabric because on the one side of fabric, it ends up lopsided. So I use a glass to give me the curve, and then just draw that along there. And for the slanted one, I measure down about an inch, make a mark there, then take my ruler at the point, and then all the way down and then I just connect that. Now the when you do sew it you want to put the right sides together on either one and sew a quarter inch seam all the way across except where the opening is and that is going to be so you, that you can turn your fabric. So I left a four inch opening in between and I use double pins so I remember not to sew in that spot. And then for the two ends, when they're done sewing them, you cut either around the corner or slanted. I use pinking shears, but that's not necessary to do. 
Now we're ready for step four. Step four is turning your fabric. Turning your fabric takes a little time and patience, but it, with the wider fabric, it is a little easier to do, like this one is a little bit wider, but it still takes time no matter what you do. So you pull it through, and with this one, I did the other side already and I pushed the other end through and poked it through uh, using my chopstick. Now this one shows the opening that you do need to have in order to turn the fabric inside out. Now that it's done, I will use my chopstick and put it in my fabric and that way I can poke out the ends so that they will be nice and rounded. There. Now you can see how the fabric here is all bunched up like this. So I carefully would take the fabric with my fingers and kind of wiggle them back and forth so that the ends are completely to the side. Just like this one. And then you would take the iron my iron is not on right now, so I'm ironing on the plastic rather than, and would iron it down so it would be flat like this end. And you must remember to press the opening in a quarter inch. And then it'll lay flat, and then you would take your pins and pin it closed. You are then ready for the next step. And that would be top stitching. This one, I used a white thread and you sew it as close as you can to the edge. Look what we accomplished by just sewing straight lines. Last week we made the pillow and this week we made a headband. The headband can be tied on the top of your head or in the back of your head or even with a ponytail or a bun. So it is very easy to sew different things and all you have to do is sew a straight line. That's the end of our sewing session for today. Please send pictures of your pillow or your headband to our Facebook page. I would love to see them. And next week, we're going to be making a book bag. And, of course, you have a place to put all your books. And these books will give you other sewing projects that you can do. Until next week, bye!